Well, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I don't know why it is that you're tuned on to Life Signatures Radio, and if this is the first time that you're listening to us, listening to me, this is a daily show, and I normally talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience. And for the most part, I normally deploy this in the form of a series. So you found us in the middle of a series, not really in the middle, we've just begun, in the beginning of a series, where we're talking about some things that we take for granted that money may or may not buy. We're going to look at that topic. In fact, we're going to learn some things about gratitude when we're covering that topic. But we're going to look at some specific things that we know. We normally take them for granted. Money might buy them, money might not buy them, but sometimes we take them for granted. It is only when they are not there, when they are gone, that's when we realize, oh, wait a minute, that thing was really important. So we're talking about five things money may or may not buy that we take for granted. Probably look at one today. We never know, but this is what the series is all about, so stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So ladies and gentlemen, it is, it is, life, it is in, in interesting. You got to understand that part. The, the life is interesting. There are very many things we take for granted. In fact, today, if the sun did not come out, that's when we take the sun seriously. I'm talking about the sun not just disappearing, by the way. You know, I'm going extreme with that example. If the sun wasn't there, there would be no life at all. Maybe water. Probably can go 40 days without water, as in maybe a few days without water completely. But not after that, we can easily die. And water is ubiquitous. Water is nearly all over the place, of course, in very many places. But there are some places where you've got to go, I don't know where, to get the water. And you cannot, in that environment where water is scarce, you cannot take water for granted. When we have scarcity, things become precious. And this is a simple business curve, the supply and the demand curve. When things are supplied in plenty, I was in Ghana some point in time in my life. And I was staying in uh, southern Ghana, I should say, I think. And for the most part, there was a season for mangoes where mangoes are just biding. And these are not mangoes that have been traditionally or they have been intentionally planted mango trees are all over the place and on the roads and and i'm telling you the mangoes will just bud and there will be mangoes on the roads all over the place if you try to sell a mango in that season the people will laugh at you because the supply of the mango is i mean the mangoes is just too much. There's just a lot of mangoes all over the place. But in the same season, at the same moment, at the same time, in another country, in another nation, there are no mangoes. And people are buying mangoes quite expensively. In fact, they don't get these organic, rich, natural mangoes the Ghanaians were getting for free. And what happens to the Ghanaians? What happens is that at that moment in time, they take the mangoes for granted. 
they know next year the mangoes are gonna show up again and the year after and the year after why because the previous year the mangoes showed up and the previous year and the previous year so they take the mangoes for granted i, I think you you get my explanation right now it's just not mangoes it could be your family it could be that relationship yeah you are mad at your wife you are mad at your husband because of what they did but they are there daily and there's someone somewhere whose biggest longing is to be settled in a family a loving family and they scroll on facebook and they see photos of couples and their hearts just long their hearts just break but those couples who are already married are taking each other for granted it might be your laptop you have a laptop and you can be able to use your laptop daily but there is a kid somewhere who is whose biggest dream is to own a machine that they can be able to use for school but they don't have for you you're taking yours for granted maybe you're even grumbling because it doesn't have some applications it is easy to take life for granted in fact I, I I would say that for the most part we live in a world where all of us rich or poor young or old we live in a world where all of us at some point in time take some things for granted anything that is in abundance anything that is in supply anything that probably we don't break a sweat or don't work for it we normally take it for granted so in the series We're going to be learning the five things that money may or may not buy. But we take these things for granted. It is possible for a while that our generation might miss the preciousness of life and engage in the rat race for looking for money, looking for clout, looking for pride, looking for being appreciated by their peers. and in the process forget life itself life itself there's a time my mom was staying with me and i told you about that yesterday and when she was staying with me that's when i, I saw that mo- the most important thing is not things because when mom was sick nothing mattered the car didn't matter the phone didn't matter the phone is just a tool that i used to communicate doesn't matter what kind of phone it is i see people uh, putting all traffic to a stop so that they can own an iphone 14 i've never owned an iphone so i wouldn't know the feeling and i wouldn't judge what i'm communicating is that there are some things in life itself that we have relegated things in life that are simple that have been relegated to uselessness because of some things that we are pursuing and therefore we take these simple things for granted and i'm going to explain those simple things for granted starting tomorrow those simple things that we take for granted i'm going to explain them tomorrow money may or may not buy these things but we take them for granted until you lose it until they are gone Now the guy who can really teach us the guy who can teach us these things is a guy who is in the twilight of his years or who is on his deathbed you talk to that person interview them tell them what matters now ask them what matters now and ask them what are your regrets you know what i'm going to tell you they're going to tell you some of the things that right now you and I are taking for granted those would be their regrets and the point is that if we are not careful we are heading there one day you and I are going to be on that deathbed one day you and I are going to be 75 80 you're going to look back and you're going to realize that I should have taken x y z seriously it was there with me she was there with me he was there with me they were there with me all this while they were there with me 
But the most important thing for me was not them. The most important thing for me was maybe a title or money or property. Everything that is vanity that we're going to leave behind when we die. We talk. We don't take these things for granted. We don't take these things seriously. We take them for granted. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to start looking at those things one by one. They are not so many. They're just few of them. But we want to look at them one by one. Then we're going to learn some things from them. Even as we go. At the end of the day, what are we learning? We're learning to look at what we have in our hands right now. And I appreciate and be grateful. Tomorrow, we'll get at it. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.